So let's start here on my iPad. And what I'm gonna do first is double tap on the home button and you'll see our new task switcher. It's really gorgeous. Big, full screen previews of all the apps. Just move right into Safari like this. But of course, often when I'm in an app like Safari, I then I just wanna quickly check my messages. So now, with just a single finger swipe from the side, I can slide it right in with what we call slide over. And of course, it's fully interactive right here. I can take a look, maybe type a response, put it right back, I'm back in Safari. Let me do that again. Now from the top, I can pull down and bring in other applications. So let's bring in Calendar. Of course, fully interactive, so I can tap into another day. Let's bring in another app. I'm gonna bring in the new Notes app, just like that. Now sometimes, of course, I wanna stay working in Notes and Safari, both at the same time, so I can just tap here on the divider, and now I'm in split view. They're both completely active. In fact, for the first time ever, multi-app, multi-touch. I can move them both at the same time. Now, Notes is actually pinned to the side now, so I wanna show you what happens when I switch apps. I'm just gonna move over here to Photos, and you notice now I have Photos with Notes on the side. This is really great if I'm taking notes while working across a bunch of different experiences. And of course, those four finger gestures continue to work great, so I can just swipe my way right back into Safari like that. I can follow links, of course, for my notes, so let me just tap on this link, and you see Safari loads it right here on the side. Now I can adjust this split, so let me just move that over to a nice 50-50 view with Notes and Safari. And I can tap on links to other apps, so let's uh, follow a link into Maps. See, Maps just, oh, I really want location accuracy. Thank you, very helpful. <laughs> so, slides right in and shows me the location. I can follow another link and you see Maps adjusts. I'm able to just stay focused right here in these two apps side by side. And let's say I want to now work on note, or Notes full screen. I can just pull right across like that and I'm in full screen Notes. Now, this gives me a great opportunity to show you what's new with the QuickType keyboard. So I have a to-do list I'm building here. And I'm just gonna buy, add an item here to buy a new uh, ice chest. There we go. But you know, on second thought, I think I wanna, I should probably borrow one. So I'm just gonna take two fingers down on the keyboard and just swipe over here. I can reposition the cursor like that, tap and make a selection, extend the selection, and type borrow. It's really easy. I can make bigger moves too. I go to the top here, maybe select the whole sentence, drag down, Maybe do a checklist like this and check them off. Just like that. Super cool. <laughs> Next, I want to show you multitasking in the context of something I think we all do uh, quite a bit on our iPads, which is not that, which is watching ESPN. So let's bring up a video. I'm going to play right here. Now often, when I'm watching a video, I may decide I wanna look something up or check something or maybe even get a notification. And I don't wanna watch, just want you to watch what happens when I tap. Watch the video. Now I have picture in picture. So I can still listen. I can watch my video. I can, of course, resize the pip if I want, like this. I can move it around the screen so it's out of the way of what I'm working on. I can even move it off the side. Sometimes I just want to listen for a while while I work. And of course, it stays with me wherever I go. I can pull it back, and then when I'm done, just tap to put it away. And that is multitasking in iOS 9.